Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Eliza. So for today's episode, we're gonna be baking a minimalist chocolate cake since it's my niece's birthday tomorrow and we do not have any gift for her. So I decided na mag-bake na lang as a gift for her and by the way guys, this is the first time na mag-vlog ako while baking so please do bear with me. Kung hindi man siya kasing presentable, kagaya ng inaasahan nyo. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. So, let's start with the chocolate ganache. All you need here is a chocolate chips and also a whipped cream. Dark chocolate or semi-sweet will do, but on this one, I am using a semi-sweet because obviously, I do not have a dark chocolate. By the way guys, I'll be putting the list of the ingredients and its measurement in the description box below so that you can just check it out there. Now, let's mix the chocolate chips and the whipped cream so that we can microwave it for 30 seconds. Please guys, do not be overwhelmed in melting your chocolate chips because I've experienced it a lot, a lot of time when I was still a beginner in baking. I burnt my chocolate chips. So, after 30 seconds, please be patient enough in completely mixing or in mixing your chocolate chips and whipped cream to completely combine it. Afterwards, you can chill it for 30 minutes while waiting for your butter. Now, let's proceed with the chocolate cake butter. We have here our all-purpose flour, brown sugar, cocoa powder, egg, baking powder, baking soda, salt, buttermilk, oil, warm water, and vanilla extract. Just like the normal process, mix the wet ingredients like uh, beat the eggs, and then buttermilk, uh, add the oil, the warm water and of course the vanilla extra i am not using any brand of buttermilk because i am making my own buttermilk by mixing a milk and a lemon juice vinegar will do then kapag wala kayong lemon juice if you do not have some of the ingredients needed why not search for a substitute one right it will save your time from looking for it sa mga stores plus your money because you can make your own in a small amount of money there's nothing wrong from being a matipid and madiscarte one. After doing so, you can now add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients gradually, okay? By the way, guys, you can mix the dry ingredients first before the wet ones. Whatever works for you. I'm doing that too. Just make sure to mix it very well before putting it in a pan. For you to be sure if everything was mixed well, try mixing your butter using a spatula because sometimes there are some of the dry ingredients left in the edges of the bowl. While mixing everything, prepare or preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius. Once your oven is ready, same as your butter, put it in the pan and bake it for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, this is how your cake should look like. Actually, you can see na nagpuff na siya and it's not even sa top. So, ikakat na lang natin yan later. I decided to divide the cake into two and put the chocolate ganache in between of the two cakes. I also uh, use a soaking syrup para medyo moist yung ating cake. Uh, soaking syrup is consists of uh, water and melted granulated sugar. I decided to crumb the cake with the chocolate ganache para hindi naman sayang kasi medyo na para may yung aking ginawa.
kagaya na yung sinabi ko sa intro ko, please bear with me kung hindi siya ganun ka-presentable kasi medyo, or hindi naman medyo, talagang kulang ako sa tools sa paggagawa ng, or pagbe-bake ng cake, pag-design, sa pag-frosting, kulang talaga ako sa tools. So, please bear with me. So, now, um, I'm crumbing the cake with uh, plain, plain white na buttercream. Pero, konti lang to, parang pinaka pang ibabaw lang niya, para hindi magkapit yung kulay ng chocolate ganache at saka nung light pink na frosting later. I added a small amount of red food color sa ating buttercream to achieve the uh, shade of light pink na gusto kong gamitin para sa pinaka frosting nitong cake na to kasi yung napili ko na background ng dedication natin is medyo darker ng konti dito just like what I've said I decided to add a larger amount of red food color sa ating buttercream para sa background na ating dedication para sa cake na to to highlight the dedication itself. So, it's dedication time. Ayan, patapos na yung cake natin. So, that's it guys. That's all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment any suggestions na gusto nyo pang gawin ko. Lutuin ko, i-bake ko, or kung ano pa pong gusto nyo. Basta comment nyo lang po. And if may suggestions kayo regarding dito sa cake na to, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. And of course, guys, don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Bye, guys. Maraming salamat po. Yay! Yay!